and welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. Follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson and click subscribe if you haven't already. I have this bombshell for you guys today that involves the greatest of all time who no longer wants to be called the greatest of all time. Clearly, I'm not talking about LeBron James because he just called himself the GOAT. That one right there made me the greatest player of all time. There are two types of people in the world. Guys like LeBron James and Muhammad Ali who once said, I am the greatest. I said that even before I knew I was. And there's guys like Michael Jordan who recently was asked about having the title of the GOAT and had this to say about it. I don't want it in a sense because I think it disrespects Wilt Chamberlain, Jerry West, you know, all the guys that prior to me I never had a chance to play against. What everybody is saying I am, I never had the chance to compete against other legends that was prior to me. When I hear it, I cringe a little bit because it's a little bit embarrassing because no one knows. Which led to the question, did Michael Jordan kind of just shade LeBron James here by saying that he didn't want the GOAT title because he hasn't competed against some of the legends that came before him? Which basically is saying, LeBron, you have not competed against me, so eat your slice of humble pie because, you know, we don't know if you're the GOAT because you didn't compete against me. Michael retired the year LeBron James entered into the league. Michael went on to say this, for you to say that I'm better than him, I mean, it's your opinion, it's their opinion. I accept that as their opinion. If you ask me, I would never say that I am the greatest player. That's because I never played against all the people that represented the league prior to Michael Jordan. Former NBA player, coach, and current Celtics president of basketball operations, Danny Ainge, spoke to a radio show after LeBron's GOAT comment and said this. His career's not over. I'd just like to know why he's saying that. I don't know, maybe he thinks that that sells? Maybe he's taking the Donald Trump approach and trying to sell himself? I don't know. Whoa, Danny, I do not think LeBron would be too happy about being compared to Donald Trump. So let's just get back to comparing him to Michael Jordan, shall we? Michael Jordan and LeBron James, one-on-one, -on -one, both players in their prime. Who you guys got? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Bert Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you guys soon.